Hello! Welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg. I like big books, and I cannot lie. This is the Big Books of Summer Challenge, created by Sue Jackson. And I saw an announcement on uh, Melinda's Web of Stories channel, reminding us that it is summertime and we are going to be reading some big books. Now, as Sue Jackson describes it, a big book is 400 pages or more. This is not a mammoth. A mammoth is 800 pages or more. This is just a little tiny 400 pages to count as a big book. And to qualify for this challenge, you only have to read one big book. For the summer. Any type of genre that you want, any type of format that you want. If the book is 400 pages or more, it qualifies and you will have finished this challenge. Now, I'm going to go out and challenge myself just a little more than one book. I have a list of a number of genres that I want to read. So I'm going to be calling this the Big Books of Summer Challenge Genre Extravaganza Edition. Now, you do not have to follow me on my genres because everyone has different reading tastes and um, your taste will differ from mine. So you can do your own genre challenge or a different challenge or stick with the initial one big book. So what genres am I going to be reading? And by genre, I'm, I'm being a little loose in describing some things. The first one is a book written in the 21st century, and it is a book that I own on Kindle. It is Shantaram by Gregory David Roberts. It is a novel. It is actually about 900 pages long, so it would qualify as a mammoth, but it also qualifies as a big book. Um, as I said, I own it on Kindle, but I'm probably going to go get an audiobook edition because I'm going to be doing a buddy read with Alan at Big Hard Books and Classics in July. And as I said, it's a novel, but it's also sort of a memoir. I think he just fictionalized his life a lot about escaping from prison. So who knows? Alan loves it a lot, and then we shall see. My second genre will be science fiction. I do not have a book picked out for science fiction yet. I have a few ideas, but I'm going to hang loose and um, see what comes to mind on science fiction. The next genre is going to be action or thriller, and I actually do have a book picked out for that one. It is The Dirty Dozen by E.M. Nathanson. I'm actually going to be reading this um, as part of my book tube at war in July. This book is 541 pages long. <sighs> Look at that print. I'm probably going to go ahead and buy an ebook version of this that's like five dollars just to save my poor aging eyes. Um, but you know, it is the story of um, criminals sent out to World War II to do a deed that only criminals can do. So it looks like a whole lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to it. I know of at least one other booktuber that's going to be doing this book at Booktube at War in July. The next genre is going to be horror. I don't have a horror book picked out. I have lots of them on my shelves, which are more than 400 pages. I have a couple of ideas. But I want to hang loose and um, see what really comes to mind over this summer. The next is going to be a mystery book. Again, I don't have any strong candidates for mystery. I'm just going to see what happens and what mystery book comes up. That would also include crime. I'm being a little loose and say mystery or crime. One or those two. The next one is going to be a Western. And yes, I have a Western picked out already. That is going to be Warlock, and there is um, Oakley Hall. Um, 
I own this in this very fancy Library of America edition. I also own the audiobook edition. And I'm probably going to listen to the audiobook edition and um, read along with some, or listen along with some passages of this book. Because it's this is supposed to be just a really fantastic Western. And it's somewhat a fictionalization at the, of the gunfight of the OK Corral. The next one I'm going to be reading is a biography. I have a couple of biographies in mind. Um, I am doing a challenge myself to read a biography of every American president, and James Monroe is next on the list. There are a few biographies of James Monroe that are more than 400 pages long. Again, I am probably going to pick out an audio book version for my James Monroe biography, or the new biography of um, Herbert Hoover called G-Man. The author's name escapes me. It just won the Pulitzer Prize in, in biography, so it should be a really fascinating book. And Herbert Hoover, if you don't know him, was uh, qu quite the man. Um, uh, very brutal, very conniving, lots of interesting details about his life that should come out in that biography. So that one is a very strong contender. And that one I think is like 800 pages or more. But still, a big book that I definitely want to read. I also want to read just a book of nonfiction. This is a possibility. This is Caput by Carrizo Malaparte. This is um, a, a nonfiction account of his experiences during World War II, a book that I would be reading for uh, Booktube at War for July. Um, this one is uh, 436 pages. The print is not too terribly small, but you know, it's okay. And um, it's supposed to be just a fascinating experience of um, Italy, or should I say, the war scene from an Italian point of World War II scene from an Italian point of view. And the last big book genre that I want is translation. I have a book here that is a strong contender for translation, and it is, it, it's a mammoth. This is Life and Fate by um, Vlasi Grossman. This is supposedly the best novel about World War II. It is the story of Stalingrad. Um, my one big contention is, again, this is, this is a mammoth. And um, it would be read for a book two bit war again. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to squeeze it in all in the month of July. I might have to uh, let this one um, seep over into other months. Um, so this would be a multiple month read, but definitely read it in the summer. I am still looking for a novel set in World War II by a Russian. And unfortunately, Russians always somewhat, for some reason, write really long novels. So I don't know, I don't know if I'll find a shorter novel about written by a Russian about World War II, but I'm still seeking one. So if you know it, let me know. And that is my plans for the big books of summer challenge. And I challenge you to do your own challenge. Again, you only have to read one book that's 400 pages or more. Easy peasy. Thank you for watching and keep on reading.